Welcome to Specific Love. Here recently I built a nice birdhouse out of one piece of cedar board. Today I'm going to show you how to do something very similar with a bird feeder. It'll be a nice little complimentary unit you can put near or even just across the yard from your birdhouse. So let's do that. Now I'm going to be building this project with a bunch of scrap leftovers I have from previous projects, but you can run out to your store and build this with one cedar picket. We first want to start off with the base of the feeder. We want to measure this out to about eight and a half inches, make a mark, and go cut it. Next up, we want to cut out the sides. We want these to be about seven inches long. These scrap pieces are just a hair longer. I'm going to cut them down. But I also want to have a 20 degree angle on each top edge. So I'm going to cut both of these out at the same time so they match. Now that we have these sides cut out, we need to cut out two more, but they're going to be a little bit more narrow and not as tall. So we want to judge roughly three quarters of an inch from the bottom down here and cut the top. In my case, it's going to be about five inches and it's going to be roughly four and a quarter across. So let's do that. Now we're doing a quick test fit. I'm coming up three quarters of an inch here on the sideboard. And you'll notice that there's still a little bit of a gap over here between the two of these for two reasons. One, it'll allow for some additional venting. Also, it'll allow when the roof goes on that it will not intersect this side piece. So better to be a little bit short than to have problems. We're next gonna cut the roofs. I'm gonna take these and measure them up and I'm gonna need these about eight inches wide. I'm gonna need one for each side so they come to a nice little peak. Now we're just going to test fit the roof pieces. They're definitely wide enough, but the angle here is not set yet. We need to cut a 20 degree angle like we did here, but on the edge of both of these. I'm going to be cutting this down on the miter saw. Now keep in mind that the miter saw is usually set up for cross cuts, not really long cuts like this. So it's a little dangerous. So be careful if you're going to do this. Now here's a little quick test fit and that's going together quite nicely. All right, now that we have the roof basically done, we need to create a little border that goes around the side and this will keep the bird seed from falling out as the birds are eating it. So we're gonna take some of the scrap leftovers and we're gonna try and trim these out, have two, one coming out on each side and one across the front. Now that we have these cut out again, they're roughly an inch tall and I have this one at one and a half inches and I have the long pieces at four and a quarter. So we're gonna just line these up everything should fit if it doesn't fit a hundred percent you don't have to worry about in fact i think mine is slightly too long but just remember this is going to be outside in the weather birds on it possibly pooing on it so you, as long as you get pretty close it should look right next up we want to attach all the walls together but we first want to determine exactly the width I like to keep mine as wide as possible here so we can have as much bird seed in here. But if you want to make this a little bit narrower, you can. That'll allow less food storage, but it'll also allow a little more space for the birds. That's totally up to you. Now we're going to come up three quarters of an inch again so that we have plenty of room for the bird seed to pass. We're going to glue this together. We're going to use type 3 glue that's waterproof and meant for outdoors. Now once you have it in place, it's a good idea to clamp it down and give it some time to dry. Now the glue, once it has fully cured, will hold this without an issue. But we want to hurry this process up a little bit. So you can always use some little finishing nails to go in here and hold it in place. But I'm going to use a brad nailer just to make it really quick. Now we want to attach this main section to the base. By doing that, we're going to line it up using these outer pieces. You want to get them roughly centered. They don't have to be exactly perfect, but close enough. Then take a pencil and we want to just mark off the sides here so we know where those are going to be. Then we can flip this thing upside down, put some glue on there and attach it with some brad nails. Now, since we're going to be gluing up end grain here, we need to put some glue, give it a few minutes because the end grain is going to soak in a lot of this glue. We'll add a second layer and then we can attach everything. Next up, we're going to attach these borders along the sides here. To do that, we're going to line everything up, put some glue along the big one here. We're going to clamp it down, flip it over and add some brad nails from the bottom. Now, since there's not a whole lot of room for these sides here, I'm going to glue it up on the bottom and we're just going to hold it in place with my finger and then add a brad nail. Next up, we're going to be attaching the roof. We want to 
Put one side and have it nicely secured in place. And do that, we're gonna add some glue here and a couple of brad nails, one on each side. And the other side, we're gonna add some hinges right here so it'll flex up and down. We do wanna make sure that it is nice and centered on here so everything will look symmetrical. Now for the hinges, I'm gonna come in roughly an inch. It'll get it roughly centered over each of the side walls there just for some additional strength. We're just gonna screw those in place. Now my bird feeder is finally finished. I have a couple other options you might wanna consider if you're going to build this. You can always take some copper flashing, put it across the top, and it'll just give the whole roof a really cool look to it. In my case, I like just a standard wood look, and so that's the way I'm gonna keep it. I'm also gonna be mounting this on a post from the bottom, but if you're gonna mount this from above or hang it, I suggest getting some kind of galvanized wire, and you can always run that across from side to side. There's a whole bunch of different options you can do this. Possibly you can put clear sides on this so you can see everything, but that is totally up to you. Now, if you're gonna be mounting it to the bottom like I am, I suggest getting a four flange and some long pipe. You can bury part of the pipe into the ground. You can attach this flange. And just add some screws to hold everything in place. I tried to catch some of the birds in action, but every time I went to turn on the camera, they flew away. Now this bird feeder turned out awesome. It especially makes a great accessory for the birdhouse I made in the previous video. If you'd like to see it, I'll put a link to that in the description below. If you like this project, please click the like button and tell me what you think about it in the comments below. I'll read every single comment and I use that as direction for future projects. Otherwise, get out in your shop, have fun building. I burp, burp, did in a, why can I not say this? I'm gonna weather, weather, and attach it with some brad nails.